Hi, this is Tyson Mavar with the Retirement Group. Today we're going to be talking about the big changes coming up to the retiree benefits plans at AT&T. First up, there's major cuts coming to healthcare benefits for retirees at AT&T. Many of you know for a number of years, AT&T has subsidized the cost of Medicare supplement insurance for its retirees that were retiree healthcare eligible as well as over the age of 65 and therefore on Medicare. These benefits have been worth for employees around $2,700 per year for individuals and about $4,200 per year for married couples. These benefits are going away if you do not retire by December 31st of 2020 or effectively have your last day on payroll be December 30th or earlier of 2020, you will not be grandfathered into these benefits. Next up is the changes to the lump sum interest rates for the AT&T pension plan. As many of you know, uh, interest rates impact the lump sum payout on your pension, and AT&T uses the corporate bond interest rates of the previous November to calculate lump sum payments for retirees for the entire year. Retirees in 2020 who take their benefits this year will receive the 2019 November interest rates, and retirees in 2020 who defer their pension election until 2021 or who retire in 2021 or later, it appears will be getting more money in their lump sum because we anticipate interest rates will be lower in November of 2020 than they were in November of 2019. Now it's possible that you could retire in 2020, maintain this healthcare subsidy for the rest of your life feasibly, and defer the election of your pension until next year to also get the increase to your lump sum. So we work with our clients on making sure that their timing is accurate to maximize their benefits from AT&T and therefore have the most comfortable and successful retirement plan possible. If you'd like to schedule a call with one of our AT&T focused retirement advisors, please click the link below and we'll do our best to help you out the best we can.